In Binghamton, as the Crunch gets set for the Binghamton Devils, ninth matchup of the season between the Crunch and the Devils. First games, uh, first game of four games this week for the Crunch. On Count at a Crunch Time, presented by Supercuts, I'm Lucas Favalli with Crunch head coach Ben Grew. Ben, it's the first game of the week. Crunch coming off of a busy week last week. Last game was that overtime loss against the Toronto Marlies on Saturday. What do you think of the Crunch's game on Saturday? Well, you know what? We're finishing a stretch of seven games in 11 days. It's never easy. Thought we we did fairly well, so. We, we had a day off on Sunday, uh, a good practice yesterday, so hopefully we're ready today. Yeah, you got back to practice, which we kind of talked about after practice yesterday, but the, the benefits, how beneficial was it to get back on the ice as a group for practice yesterday? Yeah, exactly, and uh, what I like as well, it's we're, we're seeing the more and more players uh, back, like Dennis Yan was practicing, Labrie was practicing, Wally's getting closer. So it's good for the mood of the, the players, and it's good to see those bodies back. And, and with that, it also I means some of them are ready, some of them might not be quite ready. You mentioned Wally's getting closer, yeah. but it starts to bring some of that more competition and, yeah. and that drive for some of those guys. Is that something that can help as well moving forward? Yeah, exactly. And uh, but it's also good for the mood. At this time of the year, you, you don't want to be short. And uh, uh, when you go on the ice, you want to make sure that you you have plenty of body to work with. We always say or talk about being in the right mind frame mentally. Yeah. In terms of being, you know, lifting the mood, is that and how can that help, you know, in that regard as well? Exactly, and I also think that the day off helped a lot. <laughs> like uh, it's when you, at this time of the year, it's you got to push yourself. You got to push yourself to to do things the right way. It's uh, you're looking at a schedule, and you can't talk about playoff. You got to talk about right now. And uh, you got to push yourself uh, to, to work hard. You got to push yourself to do things right. You got to push yourself to skate. And uh, it's, uh, it's a tricky part of the year. And uh, that's why I think mentally you, you got to make sure that uh, those guys are in the right mindset. Aren't you getting set for the Binghams and Devils? You mentioned ending a seven games and 11 day stretch. Tonight begins at seven and 12, so it doesn't really get a whole lot easier for the Crunch uh, for the next couple of weeks and really all of March. But big matchup tonight against Binghamton. And we talked again before or after practice yesterday but, and last week about Alex Barry Blaine. Then his line with him, Gabriel Dumont and Carter Verhanke, very uh, effective last yeah. week and a uh, hard line to play against her opponents. Why do you think that is? Well, hockey sense, hard work. And, uh, you know, when you come here and you work, it's where you're showing up. You're, you're, it's half of the battle. And uh, you know, I like the mix we have on that line. We have a shooter, we have a grinder, we we have a playmaker. So it uh, seems that they, they they have a good chemistry, and uh, they they were just ter terrific for us. Hopefully, it's gonna. It's something we can build on. And you, you mentioned after the game how important Gabriel Dumont was in yeah. terms of the all-around game, the penalty kill, I and mean, everything he provided there on Saturday. I thought PK was great, like uh, blocking shot, executing the system uh, perfectly. And uh, it's it's something at this time of the year, it's, it's very important. And the crunch before the game on Saturday, you also mentioned it's the time of the year where it, you got to make the plays, you got to be hard to play against. And, and, and it's some of those areas where it doesn't require the skill necessarily, but it requires the effort. And that's something you always talk about. And now this time of the year, it's more valuable than ever. Exactly. And the reason is simple. Teams are pushing to make the playoff. And, and you know what? When you look at our standing, we, we can feel comfortable. But we, we, we put ourselves in a great spot. And uh, it's for us to continue to, uh, to do the hard work, to do the grind. Because those teams are coming and they want to make the playoff. They wanna, they're, they're pushing to get into a playoff. So it's for us to continue and do things right. And you've also mentioned that the, the race that is shaping up this year will help this team moving forward down the stretch. And, and if the Crunch are fortunate to make the playoffs there too. Hopefully, and uh, it, it's, it's always good to have a competition near the end to play meaningful game. And it's good individually, but it's good collectively as well. Runs are getting set for the Binghamton Devils. It's a Tuesday night matchup, ninth matchup of the season between the teams on Countdown at Crunch Time, presented by Supercuts with Crunch head coach Ben Grew. And, and it is the ninth matchup of the year, but these two teams haven't played in almost two months now. It's been a while. There was the We're game. them every second day. It was. It was <laughs> at the beginning of the year. Every game against Binghamton. Now it's been a couple months off. But uh, some things have obviously changed with their roster and with the Crunch's roster a bit. So uh, what can we expect here tonight in Binghamton? Well, 
when you watch them, like they they have the same work ethic, like they they they, they have a clear identity. I think they're playing the right way and. Uh, we got to expect a, a very good challenge here tonight. Okay, looking forward to it as the Crunch take on the Binghamton Devils. This is Crunch head coach Ben Grew. Ben, thanks for your time and good luck tonight. All right, thanks.